Hi guys! It's a new day, new learning! Ang topic natin ngayon about cost averaging technique. Peso cost averaging means you buy stocks or shares for a set amount of money each month or quarter over the medium to a long term. So this could be as low as 1,000 a month for 3 years or as high as 100,000 pesos every quarter for 5 years. So the amount and the time frames are up to your budget. So, in short, uh, naguhulog ka monthly or quarterly. Again, cost averaging allow us to set aside a regular amount over the time and stick with their investment plan. So, depende sa inyo kung, kung ano yung investment plan na gagawin nyo. For example, 10,000 or 5,000 every month for 5 years. Possible peso cost averaging strategies. Pwedeng gawin nyo ay number 1, buy stock A on the first month, then uh, stock B on the second month, and stock C on the third month. Buy stocks from different industries. Use peso cost averaging when buying mutual funds or ETF so you are instantly diversified. Again, kung ang plano natin ay investment, diversified your money. And the principles behind peso cost averaging kapag bagsak ang market buy more shares kapag mataas ang rate ng stock na yun or ng price buy less share over time your average cost should be lower than the market price ito yung example natin for example uh, January to May for example lang ito, puhunan mo ay 5,000. So, dapat consistent ang 5,000. Then, mapapansin mo, i-review mo din sa, sa stock market yung price. For example, ang unang in mo doon ay 20 pesos. Then, biglang bumagsak. In ka ulit sa next month, 15 pesos. Then, biglang ulit nag up yung price. Then, uh, nag-buy ka ulit. In short dito, mapapansin natin, yung total shares na nabili mo na ay one, uh, 1,667. Then, yung averaging price mo, sa unang-unang presyo mo ay 20 pesos, ba? Naging 16, 16 pesos na. Ang, ang kagandahan dito sa cost averaging technique, dumami pa yung shares mo, bumaba pa yung average mo doon sa stock na yun. Okay. In short, the selling price mo, then ang, ang goal mo ay ano lang eh, 5 months, o kaya ang goal mo ay, for, depende, 5 years or uh, 8 to 10 years. Ito ang example dito, nag-selling price na 26,672 ang pinaka total na puhunan niya ay 25,000 lang in short kumita pa siya ng 1,672 pesos ito ang pinaka last na example natin ayan consistent June to May depende to kung ano yung goal nyo Pero, the amount of stock purchase dapat ay consistent. Then, i-review nyo yung price. So, dapat uh, may journal book kayo. Hanggat maaari ay malis nyo yung price per month. And then, the number of shares. So, unang, kung isang beses ka lang maguhulog, edi nakapasok ka sa 10. Then, Kung 500 shares lang, 500 shares lang, then yung 
Average cost per share mo lang ay 10 pesos. Pero kung uhulugan mo siya, ayan, mapapansin natin, from 10 pesos, naging 9.53 yung average. Okay? Kaysa 10 pesos, naging 9.53 yung average niya. Okay? And yung total ng shares, mapapansin natin kung ito total yan, mas dumami. Kagandahan doon, bukod sa kaysa iipon mo lang sa banko, pero bago kayong mag-invest uh, sa stock market, make it sure meron kayong emergency fund at uh, health insurance. Ayun, and last, ayan, tip natin sa tip natin you buy less shares when price are high and more shares when it is low dahil diyan sa cost averaging pwede niyo gawin to kahit ay lower class or middle class kayang-kayang gawin as long na mayroon kang investment plan so yun lamang po again kung interested kayo dito sa content natin at kung meron naman kayong gustong i-share na idea about sa investment or tips or strategies you can comment below thank you please subscribe us for more video